it was dreamy, bro. Like, I, I can't believe it happened. Like, it happened so fast. And the thing that make it like that, because both of the records went number one. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you this. Uh, you produced for Drake? Yeah. What song did you produce? Uh, I co-produced Nice For What and In My Feelings. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and so, how was that experience? It was dreamy, bro. Like, I, I can't believe it happened. Like, it happened so fast. And the thing that make it like that, because both of the records went number one. But. In one year. Like, you know what I'm saying? How like do you get the back. call? What do you, how does this even connection even take place? Did he look it on, you know, did he get, did you put it on YouTube and he got a YouTube? Uh, well, how did it happen? So the, first, the first situation was with Nice For What, with my partner Phil Wawibi. He, like, uh, the dude Cortez was looking around in New Orleans for somebody that can, you know, add some bounce to one of his songs. And they contact Weeby during the time, man. Weeby had a hot record called Let Me Find Out. With uh, We had Juvenile and Snoop Dogg on it. And, you know, like the song was hot. It was ringing, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that made Cortez call Weeby like, wow. we need this. We need some of this bounce on this oop. So, man, Weeby was working during the time, so that made Weeby call me. And, you know, it just went from there. That's heavy, bro. Yeah. Like I say, that's real heavy because at the end of the day, it don't happen. Yeah, it don't happen. It don't happen. A lot of people looking to try to do that yeah. very thing right there. And to be honest with you, the alignment just ain't lining up. You know yeah. what I mean? The music is there. I mean, the, the effort is there. And some people that just never going to click. You know yeah. what I mean? So what what make you different when it come down to your sound? I'm, I stay true to it, bro. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't listen to other people's music to try to copy off them. You know what I'm saying? I just stay true to what I what I what I grew up to, what I know. You know what I'm saying? I was in them projects when they was doing them bounce songs and at them DJs and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of cats never experienced that. So they'll really never know the real you know what I'm saying? That's even like with New York cats. If y'all wasn't out there doing the times when they was really in them parks and, and them projects doing their thing, you'll really never catch the real essence of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I caught the real essence of my culture, you know what I'm saying? So Did you Okay, you you and Manny Fresh ever? Yes, indeed. Okay, y'all talking. Yeah. Okay, when you and Manny Fresh can't cut, when you seen him and his run and him being in the cash money wave like he was, did that subside to him dealing with other things outside? Of, was it such a big brand that he wasn't he didn't connect with others well? Because I I didn't hear a lot of other outside stuff right. from him like I would have liked. Right. If I was the one saying, man, you got to go do this with them and them and them, right. I would have put him in so many different places and rooms. You know what I'm right. saying. Right, yeah, I know like, what you have Do you think that, that that brand and the way they developed that made the movement so big? Bro, it was... You I, understand what I'm saying? I Why think didn't that was, go, I think that was a Birdman move. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to keep this nigga grounded. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Manny Fresh had a... I feel like he had like maybe a lot to do with the cash money movement, bro. Because like when I listen to the music and me being a creator, I can tell when some of the rappers probably felt lazy and, and he had to step up to make it what make it, it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can so tell. You, you can, can tell, feel it. bro. You can feel it. Yeah. He wasn't a hell of a rapper, but man, it was killing him on some of the fucking songs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can tell you went back in that studio, I'ma sauce it up. You know what I'm saying? So what did you think about that project when him and Birdman did that one together? What's up? Fresh is our turn, baby. Get it up, bitch. Get them boots for the bitch. I will come chase them coaches. It was nice. It was nice, but you could even listen to it and tell it was more manny. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Like you know, so. But he gonna always oversaturate the situation because of who he is and yeah. the way he developed the music. But Birdman put him in that position, though. You of know course, what I'm saying? And of he course. He believed in him, so I respect Bird for that. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.